Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics. of Eli, Jackie, Riley, Sarah, and Lauren. And they are the Flatline Vixen. It's a one week nonprofit music education and performance day camp for girls aged 9 to 17. Our mission explicitly is to empower girls in our community to build confidence and celebrate their individuality through collaborative music education and performance. The girls will choose an instrument, receive instruction, they'll form a band, they'll write an original song, and at the end of the week, they'll perform at a public showcase concert. Bailey Dorgan, vocals. Aaliyah. Aaliyah Hammontree, guitar. I felt like I this would be a good thing for me to do over the summer because it seemed really cool. I could learn to play guitar. Like my dad, I, I kind of want to follow in his band footsteps. It's my first time playing drums, but like I played clarinet in middle school, and then I played saxophone, and I play oboe. It never like a bass instrument, you know, so it's it's way different. We want these girls to not only receive high quality instruction and mentorship, but we want them to see that women can be leaders in whatever field. There's very little representation proportionally of women on stage and in the music business in general. So it was really important to us to prioritize having women in uh, lead instructor positions and lead mentorship positions. I remember learning how to play guitar. I didn't know any other girls really who played. It was all boys and um, along with that, came some pretty big egos and that was pretty discouraging to experience when you're at an awkward age of 13 years old. Most of the time uh, people say, oh that's kind of a masculine thing to do. Isn't rock a more masculine thing? Shouldn't you be doing something like this, like pop because there are softer sides and it's a lot more feminine, there are more females in there. But if the more females we have going into these different genres that are primarily male, then the more younger females will think, hey, this is a thing I can do if I want to do it, and if they think it sounds cool, then they can go for it. I'm usually, I don't like group work at all, but I'm looking forward to this just because I know other girls will, like one, drive me crazy, but two, actually like change the dynamic of my sound a lot, which is something I need to experiment with. All of them worked together really well, were sweet and supportive to one another. Um, it was kind of like, what do you guys want to play? Like, I'm, they kept looking at me like, okay, well, can we do this? Can we do that? I'm like, you guys are a band, you can do whatever you want. Like, do you want to play a cover? Like, I'm here to facilitate, but you guys can do whatever you want. So like tomorrow, I guess they're gonna bring some riffs and play their own stuff. I sort of have stage fright, so when a bunch of people are looking at me, I just, like, my voice starts to drop and then I lose it, but it's been going good. We're working on lyrics and I have a few lyrics done. I 
I've been on stage my entire life, but I didn't have the confidence probably until this year. And so I think it's awesome to be involved in a camp like this because not only are the kids learning how to play instruments and develop their crafts, but they're learning how to be themselves unapologetically. And so I think that's awesome. I want them to be loud. I want to watch them being independent and the ones that were sent here by their parents because they don't socialize at school. I want to see them making friends and walk away with something uh, that they don't necessarily get all the time. Our girls picked women in power and they each picked a woman that they thought was a powerful woman and I, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be people from pop culture right now and they picked Amelia Earhart and Harriet Tubman and Bessie Smith and Dolly Parton and it's like, who are you? <laughs> it's so cool to see what kids write about, like what goes on with them because you don't really know. Like you don't know until they have like the space to say whatever they want. It's really cool because at my school we all, ha it was all like sports and stuff and it wasn't really music and there weren't many different types of girls with different ideas, it was all like the same ideas. Normally when I have a, an idea with like my brother or another kid at school, they normally just like turn it down. So I like that we've all been contributing for the song, so it's really fun. Yeah, I really like being in band especially since it's all girls. It's a fact that girls are less likely to speak up in class. They're less likely to ask for a raise. And I think a lot of that stems from them not being confident in their own voice. At this camp, we have folks from the community and artists who are confident and have been able to kind of overcome that and find their voice to show them that their voice has value. Just the empowerment that they have a voice um, in a music or arts generally and in the world um, and that they should never hesitate to make noise, make music, speak up, um, and the Girls Rock camps facilitate that really well. Are you ready to rock? Hey, One, two, three, four. Don't know what's going on, but it's happening fast. My world is turning and it feels like a blast. I really wanted them to feel okay being exactly who they were, no matter how weird or awkward they, they normally feel. This last day, we kind of shared some thanks and gratitude from the week. We went around in a big circle, and a lot of the campers really opened up and were emotionally honest about what this experience meant to them. A lot of them were saying, I don't get to do any of this in my school. I don't make friends like this in my school. This is totally different. I'm so happy that it's here. We all had a little bit at the beginning of just, I doubt this is gonna work out, and I doubt many of us can get along because some of us are really different, you know? And like, it's not the kind of people that in a regular setting would get along, but when you show them something they have in common and force them into that, they just kind of blossom, and it's just so cool.
It was so much better than I even expected. Everything was just very poignant. You know, every second meant something. I think this program has started to amass a, a group of supporters that are gonna make sure that it continues on indefinitely. And I'm really excited about that. If all lives matter, then why does it mind? If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.